Okay, Harley, are we gonna make another drawing video? Yeah. Yeah, what are we gonna draw today? Milo broke the um, pot of a <laughs> plant. We're gonna draw a picture of a cat, our cat, Milo, in a broken flower pot because what did Milo do yesterday? He broke the he flower pot. He broke part. the flower pot. <laughs> so we're gonna draw a very guilty looking Milo. Yeah, and on the other side he's happy and on the other side he's sad. Yeah. He's gonna be just sad in this one, I think though. Yeah, because he's cute when he's sad. Okay, so we're gonna start by just drawing um, the nose for the cat okay. right in the center, just this little tiny triangle upside down. Great job. That's a good triangle. And then we're gonna draw a line straight down. I know how to do this. And then like a little upside down V. I know how to do this. You know how to do this? What part of the cat is this? The mouth. You're right, it and sure is. Nose. All right, now we're gonna draw two circles right here for the eyes. Okay, love it. We're gonna draw another circle right in the middle of that in each of the eyes. So they look kind of funny right now, huh? Uh-huh. Yep, but then we're gonna draw, we're gonna kind of color in, it in. On the video, they do like two little circles. Yeah, we're gonna just do it like this for now. How do you do that? I'm just gonna... You're just gonna kind of color it in, but leave a little bit in the middle white. I know, I'm just doing it the way I do it. That's totally fine. Do it however you want to do it. Mm -hmm. That's the fun thing about art. You can make it look however you want, right? Mm -hmm. Yep. That looks great. And you can do it however you want. Yep. All right, I'm gonna try it your way now. Good job. I did it your way. It looks so good. All right, what are we gonna do next? Let's see, we're gonna start to draw the head, So, we're, but we're gonna <laughs> the start. The eyes look funny. They do, <laughs> they look funny. They look. We're gonna start with the ears as the first part of the head. We're gonna do two little ears, one over here. That's a big ear. That's a great ear, and That's one a here. Big ear. Big ear again. And then we're gonna connect them right here at the top. And then we're just gonna make a like the rest of it like a nice round circle. Okay. And it can be a little bit big because he's kind of a little chubster, isn't he? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, he's kind of a chubby Mine's cat. Really big. Okay, and so then next we're just gonna draw these little triangles in the ears. Done that before, so it's easy. There we go. And then we're gonna draw ear wax inside. That's where the ear wax goes. You're right. We're gonna draw these kind of funny eyebrows <laughs> like this. Like a mouth. What does that make him look like when we put the eyebrows like that? Sad. It's kind of sad and kind of like, uh oh, I'm in trouble. Yeah. <laughs> I put a really good one. You did kind of big, so I'm doing it kind of big. Yeah, that looks great. All right, and we're gonna add these little tiny details right here, just on his head, kind of like little little kitty tiger stripes. Okay, um, let's start on the his paws now. Okay, we're gonna okay. put right down here. Well, we have to do the body and then paws. Well, we're gonna, this is the order that we're gonna do it in. It'll make it a little bit easier, I promise. We're gonna do the two paws just a little bit below his head. They look like ovals, two ovals. I already know how to draw these. That looks good. 
And then you're right, you're gonna draw these little lines to show that these are like his little paws, right? Yeah, I've that done looks this cute. before. All right, now we're gonna start to draw the flower pot that he's sitting in. Okay, so and his little hands are sticking his out. His little hands are gonna be sticking out. So we're gonna draw a line right here first. Connecting. And then we're gonna draw it over here too. And then down. Actually, we're gonna make it go down a little farther below his paws. You there have it already. And then it's gonna kinda go this way. And then over here is gonna be part of where the pot's broken. So we're gonna do a little line here. And then boop, 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 boop. It's cracked right there. Good job. Awesome job. Okay, um, next we're gonna do the bottom of the pot. We're gonna start to do the bottom. We're gonna start with this side and we're gonna make a line that kind of goes down like this at an angle. Like that? That looks great. We're gonna do the other side, but we're not gonna go all the way down. We're gonna stop right about halfway down. And then we're gonna make another crack in the pot, okay? okay. So we're gonna make some more kind of like zigzag lines like that and then we're going to connect the bottom so that's another part of the pot where it broke huh uh -huh. we're going to draw coming out of this crack what is what is a flower pot full of dirt dirt so if there's a big crack in the bottom what ha comes out of it dirt dirt's going to fall out of it right so we're going to we're going to kind of draw this little wavy line kind of looks like dirt spilling out and then a straight line back here. Maybe these were like little dirt rocks. Yeah. Little plant. Yeah. You know how sometimes in plant soil you see those little white things too? Uh-huh. Okay. Is mine good? It looks really good. And then we're going to keep... I think my dirt looks good. <clears throat> it looks really good. We're going to draw... Why don't you move your picture up just a little bit so we can see all of it. Um, we can't draw that far. Maybe a little this way. So we're going to... This big crack, we're going to draw even a little bit more of this crack that keeps extending it's, from it's here. They can't draw from this far, so we have to do it okay. my way. Yeah, that's great. We're gonna do just a little bit more like kind of lightning looking squiggly lines, however you want. We'll make another little one come off here. So it's just showing that the pot's all cracked, right? Uh-huh. Okay. So next we're gonna finish drawing. Actually, first of all, we're gonna draw, before we do the cat's body, we're gonna draw a little like flower coming out of here, but it's gonna look kind of sad yeah, because, because he busted it. Yeah, I was like this. It's gonna be hanging up, yeah. So we're gonna start with the stem of the flower right okay. here. Okay. And we're gonna draw a little curve line like that. But then we're gonna draw kind of like what a sad upside down flower would look like. So we're gonna draw little petals, but they're all pointing down like this. Maybe we even draw one petal like falling off. Yeah. Like you didn't do in the picture of the mm -hmm. other one. But yep, that was just a good idea I came up with. Maybe let's draw a little leaf right here on this flower too. And we can put a little line right there, make it look a little bit more like a leaf. Excellent. Um, then we can draw, I think, our cat's body here. So we're gonna draw, he's gonna have to fit inside the pot. So we can have this line here and then connect it up to his head. Good job. And then we're gonna do the other one down like this. So now it looks like he's sitting in the pot. <laughs> but what is he missing? What part of his body is he missing? Stripes. Well, we, little, we could add some stripes, detail. but what about What's, what's the, tail. the tail? So we're gonna draw right over here, a little tail coming out. Just make it squiggle however you want. Perfect. 
Perfect. It looks like a little foxtail. Let's draw one more piece of the plant kind of falling out. So we're gonna just start over here and draw like kind of a squiggly vine coming down like this. Perfect. And then we're just gonna draw like a bunch of big leaves all over it. Just wherever you want on there. And we can put those little lines inside the leaves again if you want to, just to make them look a little bit more like leaves. And now we're and gonna look, add- I a leaf right there. That's great, you can put a leaf anywhere. We're gonna add some stripes to him, right? Some more little like tiger kind of looking little triangle stripes. Maybe we'll put some on the tail too, like this. Because Milo kind of has a lot of stripes, doesn't he? Uh-huh, because he's a big old We kid. could even put some right here on his side, like this. Yeah, that's what I see. And then, I think we're missing something on his face. Whiskers. His whiskers. So let's do three whiskers on each side. Well, there's Just... a flower falling. Oh, that's okay. That's... Yeah, we're just gonna do the whiskers right now, bud. Okay. Yep. One, two, three. Just anywhere on the side. Great. And then we're gonna do it on the other side too. And it's okay if they overlap with a tail or whatever. Oh my gosh, your whiskers look great. We're gonna do one other thing just to add some details and make it look like there's some shadow on the pot. Over on this left side of the pot, we're gonna draw a bunch of little lines like this. Okay. Just a whole bunch, see like that? Then can we see our video? Sure. Maybe one like all the cracks. It looks like. Might even draw like the ground right here, just to make oh, it Oh, but look. I did, I did like a little Y for that one. That's a great, that was a great idea. So how do we think it looks? Does that look pretty good? Uh-huh. All right, should we color it now? Yeah! Good idea, let's time, do it. Time lapse time. Everybody. All right, here's our finished Milo in the flower pot, in the broken flower pot, and now we're gonna color it. Yeah. Coloring our kitties in the broken flower pot. Was that fun? Yeah. 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 And look at mine. It's all pink and the pot's pretty. Yes. I love that you decided to pick your own colors for that cat. Because even though Milo's white in real life, <coughs> this cat is way more fun. Because yeah. it's hot pink. Yep. All right. Well, we had a lot of fun. We hope you guys draw the cat in the flower pot with yeah, us and you can follow along yeah follow along with us and then hopefully we'll have another video for you to follow along too soon we'll see you later All right, bye bye